Sagittarius, what is good, huh? This is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your mid-month tarot card reading, right? These are your deep thoughts for the next two weeks of June. This is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Sagittarius. General means it's the overall energy that's kind of sort of happening with your sign based on the planetary functions that are going on right now in the sky. Now, I don't know much about astrology, but I do know that if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading very well, very well may resonate with you. So that being said, Promise me you will not make any kind of a judgment call or a decision off of a general tarot card reading. Anybody's general tarot card reading. It is just that. It is general. If you need understanding, confirmation, more information, please reach out to your favorite tarot card reader. Hopefully that would be me. And get a personal tarot card reading. The, the, the confirmation and the peace of mind is just really worth its weight in gold. If you want a personal tarot card reading from me, just for you, just for your situation, or if you'd like to tap into the energy of somebody else involved in the situation and get into their head and see what's going on a little bit, hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get you a $50 tarot card reading. Yep, 50 bucks, hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Okay, disclaimers and business aside, let's read, okay? All right, Sag, so we open up this reading with the King of Cups, right? Somebody's in their feels, and I'm going to tell you right now that this King of Cups is coming at you, okay? This isn't necessarily you in your feels, but whoever this person is, they're in their feels about you, and they want to hook it up with the wheel. They want a, they want to pioneer um, a turning point in your relationship. And with the chariot card, they are coming in strong, 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 right? They're not playing around. This is not a undelivered promises, no talk, no action type of situation. This king of cups is coming for you, Sag. They're coming for you. They want a new beginning with you. They want to set the record straight and they want um, a, a turning point in this relationship and they want it bad. They're coming in fast, rolling hard. Princess of Swords says that they are formulating their thought patterns and this is definitely not a no talk, uh, all talk, no action type of situation. Okay, so this kind of freaks you out, right? Well, the princess of swords formulating their thoughts and they may be reaching out, small reaching out, right? Just small, like, hey, hey, Sag, you want to go have a drink? And that's when they're going to dump it all on you or something like that, right? So this nine of wands says that this puts you in a defense mode, right? You're like, whoa, back up, take a step back, bro or sis, right? What do you mean? What are you talking about? You're coming on a little strong and a little hot and you're making me feel defensive. Not only are you making me feel defensive, but with the seven of wands, you are making me feel challenged as well because, because now there is no indication here that this is a past relationship. Okay, there's no indication. There's no six of cups. There's no star card for renewal, nothing like that. But because of this eight of cups, right? This is, this is a card about um, disappointment, abandonment, um, just, just walking away, right? To the five of cups, which is despair and regret, right? To the devil, which is all about some kind of a toxicity, to the magician, which is manipulation, equals a broken heart. So this tells me that at some point in the past, you have had a relationship or interactions with this King of Cups that's coming in so hot for you, um, and it broke your heart, okay? That's why you're defensive. That's why this is a challenge, because this King of Cups at some point has broken your heart, caused you a lot of pain. The Ace of Pentacles in the center of your reading. This is the manifestation of a new opportunity. That's what this chariot's trying to do. That's what this King of Cups is trying to do. They're coming in hot with the chariot to manifest um, a brand new opportunity with you. Moon card. 
says, I don't think so. Not so sure about all of this. I need a minute to see things a little bit more clearly before I jump in full force with the Prince of Wands and reciprocate with passionate messages. Fear and anxiety, defensiveness, challenge, lots of pain in the past. Um, before you go full blown with the Prince of Wands, right? You're going to hold off a little bit. You're going to hold off a little bit before you just, just jump right in to this love situation with the lover's card right there. Justice comes in and says that number one, you are seeking some truth because we have, we have the wheel representing, um, a turning point, right? Then we have all these pain cards right here and then we have justice. So you, you want some truth in the situation. Not only do you want truth in the situation, but, but you also feel very justified in this because in the past, like I said, this King of Cups has, has been uh, um, flaky, right? They've just been flaky. They, they caused you some pain. And this coming back around of this King of Cups is justice for you. Because the Nine of Cups says that you see this King of Cups as wishes fulfilled, right? You see it as wishes fulfilled, this love relationship, this whole thing coming at you. Even though it freaks you out, you see it as wishes fulfilled. Six of Pentacles says you would really like to give and receive with this person in a Two of Cups unified love relationship. However, all up in your head with that Nine of Swords, right? Because this was a super painful lesson, right? Super painful lesson. And what you're, what you're in the Nine of Swords about with some massive anxiety, right? Anxiety, despair, just, just tormented, right? Is your feels, your feels, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, your feels about this person and the fact that they want commitment. So you're all up in your head about your feels, about commitment, about this King of Cups wanting, um, wanting a, uh, a new beginning, wanting um, a turning point in the relationship, coming in hot and hard with the chariot and expressing themselves with the Princess of Swords, right? Little expression, little. This is the initial, hey, Sag, how you doing? Kind of thing, right? And it puts you immediately on the defensive, immediately challenges you because you immediately go right back to all of this pain that happened right here, right? When this text message comes through, it's it's like seconds, boom, 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 sex, uh, sex message. It might be a sex message, hey? Text message comes through and Sagittarius is immediately defensive, immediately on edge, immediately challenged because their mind goes right back to the pain from the past. Ace of Pentacles in the center of the reading, the manifestation of a new opportunity. Well, what is it that you're going to do here, Sag? What is it that you're going to do? Well, these outcome cards right here tell me that you are going to return this communication and that you are going to... Um, I lost my train of thought. You're going to return that communication and you are going to uh, straighten out this whole situation and move forward with a new beginning. You are going to, um, yeah, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> you're going to bark. You're going to um, move forward in this situation and you are going to give it another chance with the wheel. Six of cups, reconciling, reconciling right? Reconciling, reuniting with someone from your past, this King of Cups. And the chariot says you're giving it back just as hard. You're going to roll forward. You're going to move forward. And you are all about reuniting and reconciling with this person from your past. Okay. All right. Now, you know, I want to put a little, little caveat in here for those of you that are like, oh, hell no. Am I reckon, reconciling with someone from my past? You could read this if you wanted to. Returned communication. Thanks, but no thanks. Going out on my own. Don't want to reunite and reconcile. And I'm rolling out. Okay? Just for those of you who, you know, want, want an ending to this reading. These cards could be read that way intuitively. And with the reading, you are going forward. And you're rolling hard. You're going to reunite and reconcile with somebody. 
Okay. But for those of you who are like, oh, hell no, you could read these cards that way. Returned communication, wheel of fortune. Yeah, you're, you're, you're starting a new life cycle, but it's not with reuniting and reconciling and you're moving out on your own with the chariot, right? All right, Sagittarius, that was your reading, deepthoughtswithdana.com or the link in the box if you subscribe to my channel. 50 bucks, hook it up just for you, just for your situation. And namaste.